This one is a biggie. But don't forget to download the FanDuel app. It's America's number one sportsbook app. Now, Chuck, bigger game tonight. Giannis or Jimmy Butler? Giannis. Ooh. Gonna send a message. I have to agree with you. Remember, Kev, these two teams very familiar with one another. In 2020 in the bubble, it was Miami who beat Milwaukee 4-1 on their way to the finals to lose to the Lakers. And then a year later in 2021, it was the Bucks who swept Miami on their way to winning a championship. So some of the pieces have changed. But as Charles just said, the headliners, Jimmy Butler, Giannis, they remain the same. Caleb Martin picked up the foul the first on him. 90% free throw shooter Chris Middleton at the free throw line. These two teams have played four times this season. Bucks won twice here. Heat won twice in South Florida. Middleton again, a little more than five gone here in the first. Two of the games in South Beach. Giannis didn't even play in the last game. He got hurt six minutes in. So really only one game that Giannis, he had a triple-double in it of any significance. Butler wheels to the baseline over Ingles. Rebound Portis just got off the bench first time in. Bobby Portis is a finalist for the Sixth Man Award. Won by Hero a year ago for Miami. Giannis, corner, Portis, three. Rebound Butler. Here come the Heat, 44 and 38. Road record of 17 and 24. Inside Butler, got it, got it, foul. He'll go to the free throw line. Jimmy Butler fresh off that 31-point performance, reeling his heat over the Bulls in Miami on Friday. Ingles picks up his first. Plus Jimmy Butler, 31 points in that win versus Chicago. That was 23 points on the season, 54% from the field. But Chris Bolsa said in his four years, this is arguably his best year because they have moved him around in a number of positions and he has prevailed. Here comes Giannis, switch on defense, Allen, no one home, down goes out of the pinball. it's picked up by Butler, quickly the other way, Hero, drives into Portis, in the corner, Martin three, got it! Turnovers, too often. You want to be successful in this series against Milwaukee, you got to find a way for them to not look at the basket and turn them over and try to get some easy ones yourself. Ingles three. Puts it up and through. Joe Ingles, who has a top three-point percentage on this team. Driving, counted, foul. Giannis goes down. Dashing his way inside was Pam Adebayo. And the Bucks people can't believe this. They believe that Giannis was set here. You're wondering if your coach, Bud, will you take a look at this? I know it's early on in this first quarter. And it looks like to Kumpo, he was pretty much set there. What do you think, partner? Was he moving a little bit? That's a I mean, tough, that tough is a call. bang bang play, but it sure Yana, is. Yana Kumpo will go to the bench, picking up his first. Middleton will go to the bench. So now they've got Lopez back out there with Holiday, Ingles, Portis. And Wesley Matthews will check in for the first time for Milwaukee. Adebayo with the free throw line, 80% free throw shooter. We heard our, our guys in the pregame show talking about rest versus rush. Right now you're seeing Miami, who's been engaged in two drawn-out fights in that playing situation, off to a nice start here. Here comes Portis, multiple double-doubles this season, three Eagles. It's a rebound by Struess, the starting point guard for the Heat. Vincent on the bench with two quick fouls. Here's the guy that took his place, Martin, who just hit a two. Moments ago, a three, and off the bench for five. What I loved about that play is Lowry kicking the ball ahead. Here's Matthews. He played at Marquette. He's from Madison. His dad, of course, in the NBA for multiple years. Or should I say through the chin of the Lowry? Wow. 
And they're going to challenge this one. Green light special on deck right here. That would be the second. Lowry just off the Miami bench. He's stepped aside. Ten-point Miami lead.